what up everybody what is going on welcome back here to another episode before we go ahead and get into this one i first off just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support in the last video it's been a minute since i've done a video by myself you guys know i've been going hard with the whole family content my dad was here visiting me for like the last three months so you know putting out my first fully solo video in a minute i wasn't like worried but i was just like damn i don't know how they're gonna you know take this the video is actually going crazy and you guys are showing so much love and you guys have been sending me so many amazing messages on instagram and i've been trying to respond to as many of them as i can so um if i haven't responded to you you know just hit me again or whatever i'll do my best to get back to you guys because your words of encouragement honestly mean a lot to me so thank you guys so much before we get into it make sure you guys like this video every single time that i ask you guys to like a video you guys do and then it helps your boy out with the algorithm and you know we're fucking we're pushing this year so help your boy out take a minute like this video and also take a minute take a big sip of water i'm gonna give you guys a second right now Go get a sip of water and make sure you're drinking enough water because I know you haven't drank enough water today. All right, now this is definitely going to be one of my most personal videos that I've done for the last three years where I have put my life out on YouTube for the most part in every single video that you guys have seen believe it or not I've been high and I'm not proud of it you know I was never ashamed of the fact that I smoked a lot of weed you guys see I like post pictures smoking my blunts and then videos and this and that. I was never ashamed of it but I'm not proud to say that I was high for pretty much every single video that you guys have watched for the last three years if you guys have watched all my videos and the amount of weed that I was smoking was anywhere from I want to say like one blunt a day to you know nine to ten in every single blunt there was like minimum one and a half to two grams in the blunt you know, your boy always rolled cannons it's funny because my first experience with smoking weed i was 15 years old my family was out of town i was about to go to hockey practice and the thing is i had already smoked weed like so many times before that but i never got high now mind you this was like 16 years ago and back then weed was there was only two kinds you could get you could get like dro aka hydro and then you could get cess like the first fucking i want to say like five to ten times that i smoked i never even got high i don't even think i knew how to inhale but this ended up being the first time that i got high and holy shit it was just such a scary experience for me i remember my paranoia was just going through the roof i called my mom crying so after that i was just like yo this drug is not for me i'm never gonna do it again there's just no no way like who the hell would ever want to experience that I don't even feel like I'm myself you know I was an athlete growing up so I just never drank I never partied I never did drugs or anything like that so from 15 all the way up till I want to say like 27 28 is when I kind of started smoking a little bit again I was just sober I never really drank at all I had so much responsibility throughout my 20s I was working with my family in the restaurant business I had a lot on my plate so I just didn't even have any time to entertain any of those types of things but then I was about 26 27 I started dating this girl and we ended up dating for a few years and she was heavy into smoking weed and next thing you know you know I'm just smoking on the little pens taking a couple hits and I'm like all right fine fuck it I'll try the flower start smoking flower the next thing you know I'm smoking backwards and you guys know once you start with the backwards it's just no point in return after that backwards are a very steep and slippery slope do not go down it i just became addicted to them because you know once you get addicted to it you're not even addicted to the weed at that point you're just addicted to the tobacco but then it wasn't you know until like a few years ago where i started finding a passion for music and you guys were showing me so much love when I first started doing it I was like holy shit you know this is so fun this is like some new to me I was never the most creative person growing up and this was something that I felt like was just you know like a new page for me it was like a new chapter I'm like damn am I really gonna start just going to the studio and you know making tracks and putting it out and now next thing you know I got tracks with like you know multiple millions of streams and you know crazy amounts of feedback that you guys have just been so supportive and everything so I heavily associated smoking weed and making music. I never, ever, ever was able to write or record being sober. Weed was always involved in that process and I felt like I needed weed in order to open up that creative door. That's when things tend to become tricky and they can actually become dangerous is when you actually start depending on the drug for certain things. But I'm one week sober now, six days to be exact, and I've tried recording myself once while being sober and it was a tremendous fail and I was really discouraged and I was like, fuck man, does this mean that like in order for me to make music, I gotta like 
figure out a way to do it sober or I, I, uh, well, how long until I can smoke weed again, you know, because I'm on this whole like cleanse right now. So I was stressing myself out for a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not worried about it. I feel good right now and that's the most important thing. And you know, when I cross that bridge, I'll cross that bridge. But yeah, my journey with smoking weed was really weird because I started to just become more and more dependent on it. I felt like when I would smoke, I'd be more silly. I was less shy to be on camera and you know, it was my way of being more creative. So next thing I knew, every single time I went to go pick up a camera, I felt like I had to take a couple hits. And then next thing you know, it was translating into me actually needing to be high around people in order for me to feel comfortable. If I was going to meet people that I knew, I had to be high because I felt like when I was sober, I was just kind of more down, I was flat, that I needed to smoke in order to make conversation. I needed to smoke in order to feel like I was interested in what they had to say. So it just became full on an addiction to the point where I was just so dependent on it and I was just like scared of being my sober self around people and then there would be nights where I would just be getting high and I'd be canceling plans on people all the time because I'd be like oh fuck it I'm too faded I don't feel like going out I cancel on dinner plans I cancel on going out and I'm not even gonna lie I feel like you know a lot of my relationships with people over the last few years have suffered due to me smoking weed I feel like I've become less close with people that have been really close to me throughout my entire life because of it I just feel like I'm at a point right now where I want to turn a new page. You guys see I'm going crazy with this health and fitness wave and everything like that where I just want to be focused and I want to be better and I just want to continue to strive to be like the best person that I can be. But yeah, I don't want to hold you guys up. I'm going to go ahead and roll this video. I'm going to check in with you guys throughout the video and then as well at the end, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail in terms of how I feel now and things that I kind of have done to basically get through it. Like a perfect time. <sighs> it's about 6 a.m. right now. Oh, no, 6.30 actually. Check it out. And I probably went to bed last night at like 11.30, so not bad. And pretty much for the last like two, three years, I've been smoking weed actively every single night in order to help me fall asleep. And I'm not gonna lie, last night was rough, you know. Kept waking up every, you know, couple hours. I had like crazy nightmares. I haven't had dreams that vivid or just even remembered my dreams since I can't even remember. It was messed up, woke up like drenched in sweat and shit. <sighs> Which sucks because it's just like, fuck, is this, I just like, the first thing I asked myself this morning was just like, fuck, is this literally what it's gonna be like for the next few weeks or month or whatever if I were to completely just like, cut out smoking. That's uh, fucked up, bro. It's just fucking weird. So day one was actually not that bad. The beast comes alive at nighttime, and that's when I found it was the most difficult. But this is day two. My body's fully going through withdrawal. I'm my like, I feel anxiety and shit during the day sometimes where like, I'll just be sitting and I'll just feel anxious. I'll just be like, like my chest will kind of start to feel tight and I'll be like, <sighs> I go like that. Other thing too is like, you know, my mood for sure is kind of like more down. Anyways, my point that I'm getting at is that it's only been two days and it fucking sucks. You know, we all got our inner demons, we all got our problems that we're battling, things that we're going through, but I'm really hoping that whatever it is that you guys are going through, maybe it's something else, but that we you know we just push through together and I feel like you know, though we don't necessarily maybe like talk or some shit, but like, you know, you guys are just part of the gang, part of the, you know, part of the movement this year. So, but anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Last night was fucked. Literally was waking up like every other hour again, soaked in bed, full of sweat. And it's difficult for me because you guys have seen that I'm on this like health wave right now where I'm training like crazy. But it's funny because you think that weed makes you not want to train, but I, but because I've been smoking for so long, like my body depends on it. Now that I feel like I'm kind of going through withdrawal and experiencing symptoms, I am so unmotivated to train. But I'm still gonna do it, I'm still gonna get my work in today, but I'm definitely not waking up with the same level of like jump and like ready to go like I have been for the last little while, so. <laughs> It's important that when you're done boxing, 
Don't just throw your gloves off and be like, oh, I'm done, I'm tired. Either one or two rounds, easy rounds of shadow boxing, or one or two rounds of skipping. Just to bring that heart rate back down and cool down properly. And I'm about to get some sleep. Well, try to anyways. I'm so tired, but I'm not even looking forward to going to sleep because I just know what's gonna happen. Think about it, a thousand days where you just take no days off smoking. I was reading that the THC like stores in, in your fat cells and it can take up to three months for it to start to fully clear out. And that the vivid dreams only, like this is the worst part of everything. Like the day is kind of fine. Like I'm, I'm kind of grumpy or I have like a little bit of anxiety and stuff, but it's, it's the night that I'm just not looking forward to because of these fucking dreams. And like, they feel so real and they're weird and they're like, <sighs> anyways, I'm gonna get off to sleep. Come on little guy, it's time for bed. I'm gonna bring you to bed, come on. It's not like I'm fighting an urge to smoke. Like I don't even want to smoke. Like my, I feel like shit. You know? Anyways, good night guys. I love you all. Check in with you tomorrow. I'll let you guys know how I feel. Now again, I slept like absolute shit. I was waking up pretty much every hour, every two hours. Had the cold sweats, nightmares. Just having dreams that just felt so real and they were so weird. And for anyone who knows or who's been addicted to smoking weed or when you do smoke weed, you don't remember your dreams. So imagine, pretty much for almost the last three years, I haven't remembered any of my dreams. And the crazy thing about it now is that it's been a week that I've been sober. I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end, but I can remember dreams now from like three, four days ago. It's like the weirdest, experience. Nonetheless, when I woke up this day, I started to just feel a lot better. My mind started to feel like everything was sort of just like clearing up. It was the weirdest experience. <sighs> Your boy is feeling good today. If I just stay on this trend, I'm gonna feel like reborn again, like what everyone has been saying. So we're gonna go for a little run this morning and see how I feel. We're gonna see if we can push today. This is where I want it to hurt. Yeah, this is my last hill. Let's go. That's gotta be a record time. I don't care what anyone says. There's no way it's not a record time for me. All I did there, I swear to God, I just kept picturing my dad like right here, being like, come on son, come on. When you're running or doing anything difficult, if you're training by yourself and don't have that person to push you, because I know it can be hard, try to picture that that person who inspires you or whoever that helps you, you know, get motivated. This goes to show you, put your mind to something. It gets easy with time. So as you guys can see here, we got my standard breakfast, two eggs, overnight oats from my boy Anu, as well as two eggs there. Now, I thought while I was doing this, I would show you guys how I do my dog food. I know this might gross some people out, but this is chicken liver. Put it in a poly bag. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. So I just go ahead and lay it flat so it can freeze. That way once it's frozen, I can chop it up into cubes and then I can mix it in with the other meat that I buy for them. So anyways, your boy's about to head to bed right now, but check it out. Your boy picked up a fucking tongue scraper fam. Things are starting to get more clear, boys and girls. Take in that all of this realization came from literally me just brushing my tongue, then being like, yo, I need to quit smoking, then being like, holy shit, I just need to quit smoking weed altogether. It's crazy how one thing leads to the next. You just never know where things are gonna take you. You just gotta always stay, you know, open-minded, stay clear, stay focused. So tongue scraper on deck, going to bed right now, not looking forward to the nightmares because you know I had a nightmare last night that guy was trying to stab me but hopefully there's no more nightmares tonight but you know probably will be but it is what it is I love how they package everything they always package it so nice and like fresh so this is uni aka sea urchin 56 US, which I know sounds really expensive, but when it comes to spending money on food, I've just grown up never feeling guilty about it because you know, it's just been my life from the time I was really young. But uni is an excellent source of lean protein. An amazing snack to have. You just put it over seaweed, a little bit of soy sauce, fire. Wow. Look at that. Bluefin tuna loin. off look at that look how fresh that looks so fire so we'll go ahead and keep this in the fridge and then because it's just too much for me I'm gonna go ahead and freeze that mmm I'm actually gonna go ahead and start marinating this now wash the fish off dry it off I'm gonna do just like a really simple marinade so it's just some soy sauce 
You don't want it to be too salty. A little bit of sesame oil, a little bit of garlic powder, and then just a little bit of onion powder. And then last but not least, and then some chili powder. So realistically, this only, like if you were to just let this marinate for 15, 20 minutes, that's fine. <clears throat> but I'm about to train right now, so I'm gonna let that marinate and I'm probably gonna cook that for lunch later today. And then lastly, we got some madai, AKA Japanese snapper. You guys saw my dad like would always cook this fish. They would actually bring it to us whole, but I asked him to fillet it for me and debone it and everything, which is really nice. You don't really gotta marinate it or anything. It's super tender and flavorful just on its own. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it, wrap it up in some paper towel, store it in the fridge, cause that's the right way to do it. And then when I'm ready to cook it, literally just a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit of lemon to finish it off, and uh, some garlic, and just keep it super simple and it tastes amazing, so. See how I'm wrapping it? I've already dried it off, but I'm still wrapping it in fresh paper towel. If you ever go to sushi restaurants and shit like that, you'll notice this is how they always do it. This is how you keep it the most fresh. Always wrap it up, we keep it clean around here. Trust me, the old me would be like, fuck that, I'm not doing that, it's too much work, I'm not gonna like, you know, cook my own fish every day and wrap it and this and that, but it really is, such a payoff, you know? By the time you're sitting down and eating it and you just start to see the results in your body and you actually enjoy the food, it's just, it's worth it, you know? So, this is what the fish looks like that I was marinating. As you can see, your boy just got a fresh cut. Just lightly dusted it in flour, a little bit of olive oil in the pan, caramelizing a little bit of onions. Of course, you know my favorite, a little bit of guacamole on the side. And then always some boiled greens. So check it out, this is what my feast is looking like. Japanese sticky rice. We got the fluke, caramelized onions, a little bit of guacamole, a little bit of boiled rapini. And then I got some more fish on the side there. Just for a little extra protein because I had a crazy boxing workout today. As long as you have the prep and everything, like this was already marinating, the fish literally took probably like seven minutes to cook. I'm even starting to notice my eyes like usually have like really dark circles underneath. It looks like it's starting to clear up a little bit. I'm doing my dog food right now. Triple A Angus ground beef. And then we got some turkey. Ground beef. Turkey, frozen chicken liver. We're gonna let this defrost for about an hour just to the point where it's like on the verge of becoming a little bit softer so it's easier for me to cut. Then I'm just gonna portion it out, saran wrap each block, freeze it, and then basically that's how I feed my dogs. Nothing like some good old chicken liver popsicles. I'm gonna mix this all in here. And now we gotta get our hands dirty, folks. So we do this for the love of our pets, right? This is something my father taught me. The dog is a man's best friend. Ooh, that's fucking cold on my hands though, holy. Couple things about this, number one, don't buy your dog that fucking garbage ass kibble from the store even though they tell you that it's healthy because like the way that my dog looks now, AKA Kobe, his coat is the softest I've ever felt it. He's definitely lost weight and he can run so much quicker now, like us doing the hikes every day. He just looks so fit and he eats this every day. Like I said, you know, he was such a picky eater before and he eats this every single day. And I've experimented giving my dogs so many different kinds of foods, like everything you can imagine from going to the store here in LA and paying all kinds of money for home cooked dog food, which they would eat like the first time you'd give it to them or the couple first times you give it to them and they don't eat it. Giving them dry kibble, putting them on a raw diet. You know, this is technically a raw diet, but like why would you go and pay for someone else to be doing it and when you don't even know what the fuck they're putting in the food? When you can just do it yourself, it'll save you money and you can actually probably give them a higher quality, better quality meat for a cheaper price. So if you have a dog, this literally takes you like five minutes to do it. And the, the only time consuming aspect of it is portioning it out. And if you give a fuck about your dog, then you'll do it. So this is what it looks like after it's all been portioned out. Then just go ahead and throw it in the freezer. I wasn't even gonna show you guys this, but I started cutting this tuna and holy fuck. If this ain't a beautiful sight, then I don't know what the fuck is. So look how fresh this tuna is. Look at that, look, how, look at the color of that. It's insane, bro. Let the weight of the knife do the work. Oh my God, this looks good, bro. I don't, I, think, I don't think you guys are taking in how crazy this is. Like for anyone that isn't taking in how crazy it is, it's actually pissing me off. Now normally I would just, you know, eat this sashimi style, but I'm gonna do a little homemade pokey. I'm missing some green onions slash scallions, but this is what my homemade pokey's looking like. Pour this right on top. Like so, and there you go. 
a homemade poke bowl. I mean, considering I just like mashed this real quick, trust me, this is gonna taste really friggin' good. 100% honest in when I taste this. Oh yeah, fire. Next time I make it, I'm gonna get all the right ingredients and do it the right way. All right, good morning, everybody. Crazy thing is, is that I got no gosh darn pants on. It's day six today. No marijuana smoking, no edibles, no nothing, no CBDs, basically cold turkey. And last night was the first night of no nightmares, which was amazing. No cold sweats or anything like that. Even my pants. Now, as I've said, I'm six days sober. Tomorrow will be exactly one week with zero weed. The main things that I'm starting to notice after pretty much one week of being sober is for sure my the dream dreaming part like dreaming again is like a really weird thing like normal to dream and then imagine just for three years of your life like waking up and having no recollection of any dream or like you'll have a recollection of it for, for like the first 20 seconds that you're awake and then you're gone number two touching on that is the memory aspect my memory especially for the last i want to say year and a half to two years was completely shot any relationship that i've been in or like even when i'd be hanging out with friends or even just anything that i've experienced pretty much for the last three years of course i remember like you know certain events and stuff like that but every Everything in a lot of ways now that I think about it just feels kind of like one big blur like three years went by and like all this music shit and this YouTube stuff like I don't really remember it and the only way that I actually can kind of really remember is by going back and watching my old videos which is like the weirdest thing as well and another thing that I've taken away from this that's been crazy is like just noticing how much more organized I am now and the thing is, is I've always been kind of OCD my organization is so much better I'm writing everything down I'm keeping notes everything is just sort of like in the moment and you're just present and when you need to do something it just gets done and that has been such a rewarding feeling that's why I'm just continuing to want to be sober because I'm realizing that I'm just so much more productive luckily I haven't had a crazy loss of appetite and the reason why that is is because I train a lot one thing that I used to always tell myself when I was smoking so much weed was oh it's okay if I smoke because you know I ran today or I boxed today oh I trained today I was always giving myself excuses to why smoking so much weed was okay you know based upon the fact that, oh I'm still healthy I'm still active I'm still healthier than the average person and at the time it didn't seem like I was making excuses but now looking at it is like I was just making every excuse that I could to not quit and I would tell myself things like oh but no I'm in such a better mood always when I smoke and then you know when I'm around you know people that I'm comfortable with you know I ask more questions and I'm just a better person to be around when I'm high more creative when I'm high I was just always making Making all these excuses on a daily basis to why smoking weed was okay I would even tell myself things like oh I don't drink so it's okay that I smoke all the time for my fellow weed smokers or people who are addicted to smoking is justifying and making excuses even if you're creative and you feel like you need to you know smoke weed to tap into that creative side if you're just always smoking you're just pulling yourself further away from like who you are looking back it's only been one week and now I'm just like fuck man like I I feel like looking back that like I almost as much as I explored so many new things like making music and diving into the YouTube world like guys I'm telling you pretty much every single video that you've seen me in like for the last three years most of it I was high another thing that I strongly suggest for anybody who smokes on a routine basis and is ready to attempt you know giving themselves some time off from smoking whether it's going cold turkey or cutting back a lot being alone is important at times it makes it a lot more difficult because you're kind of just by yourself and you're sober and you're kind of just like okay what the fuck do I do now I have all this like time you know when you have some like free time and then you smoke and all of a sudden it just makes your free time so much more enjoyable it just makes everything you do so much more enjoyable it's just temporary i'm telling you it's a it's a band-aid solution and i'm not saying that oh i'm, I'm anti-weed or i'm never gonna smoke again I will smoke weed again at some point, you know, but like I've said, even in my last video, you know, with food, the type of foods you eat, um, the amount that you exercise, just anything that you do in life, moderation is key and it's important to find balance in your life. And I hope that anyone who's going through something, maybe it's not even marijuana or drug related or anything like that, but I'm hoping that this little journey that I'm on can help inspire you to let you know that whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever inner demons that you're battling with, there's a way out. But yeah, the one thing I definitely do suggest is that if you're gonna 
cut back or take some time off smoking or go cold turkey is just you know spend some time alone because you don't really want to be around people who might not know or understand exactly what you're going through because the mood swings that you're going to experience are going to be pretty heavy and i noticed that i was extremely irritable throughout the first especially like three four days and i just really kept telling myself i'm like this is part of the process this is part of the process you got to stick to it you got to go through it but yeah i'm definitely going to touch more on this in my up and coming videos because like i said it's only been a week like i said whatever it is you're doing keep pushing let's do it together guys 2021 we're fucking going hard this year all right you know kai's working out crushing it every day jet's going crazy with the youtube videos so everyone's just really you know pushing this year and it, and, and it just makes me feel really good so but anyways i love you guys and i'll be back soon peace what up boys and girls all right so you're gonna want to tune into this next episode that i'm dropping next week now you guys know that my dad was here for the past three months and trust me don't think that for one second that he left and i didn't pick up some gems along the way and i promised you guys that i was going to show you some stuff that he taught me now in my next episode i'm going to be showing you my favorite dish that my dad taught me it's super easy super simple to make and trust me if you make this whether it's for yourself whether it's for a date whether it's for friends whether it's for family you are going to impress them so you're not going to want to miss next week's episode guys thank you so much for the love and support don't forget to tune in and make sure you guys like this video and hit that sub button peace